Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the double variable type and a little bit about converting from integers to doubles. So basically what a double is, is a number with a decimal point um, or a fractional part. So that's something like, you know, we've been dealing with integers that are like negative 1, 0, 1, stuff like that. But what if we want to plant numbers maybe like 3.14, something like that, right? How do we do that? So, well, let's just do a little recap. In the last video, we were kind of talking about integer division. So we would want to see, do something like c out 5 divided by 2 and then just go ahead and end that line. Uh -huh, and line like that, right? So when we go and run this program, um, here we go. Just give it a second. Alright, so that's printing out 2, right? And that's because 2 goes into 5 2 times and there's a remainder of 1. But, you know, we didn't use the modulus operator so we're just using integer division to get this 2. So, well, what if we want to say that, yeah, okay, you know, that makes sense, but we don't want to use remainders and things. We want to just say that this is definitely, you know, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So to do that, we have to make these into double numbers. And so those are just numbers, like I said, with a decimal part. So just do 5.0 divided by 2.0. And when we go ahead and build and run this program, let's do that. And we're going to see that when we're doing doubles divided by doubles, look, we're getting 2.5. Pretty cool, hey? So... Now that's cool, but what if we had um, maybe 5.0 divided by 2, right? We're dividing a double by an integer. So what's going to happen if we do that? Well, let's run and just see. See, it still says 2.5, and that's because in C++, if you have, say, a double divided by an integer, or in the opposite, maybe we had an integer divided by a double, it's going to convert that number into a double. Cool, so that's... That's good to know. Um, another thing we can do here is maybe we want to store, you know, a double in a variable. Well, if we do that, if we want to use a brand new variable type, and that's just simply double. So we could say maybe double x is equal to, well, 3.14, something like that. And then if we go and, you know, we could see out maybe x, and if we go and run this program, you're going to see it's going to print the double. Oops, we need that semicolon there. Um, you're going to see that this is going to print that number, you know, with the decimal places on the screen, no problem. There's no remainders here or anything like that. So that's good to know. Um, now, another thing we can do with doubles is, what if we had, we were talking before about, you know, kind of reassigning and overwriting variables and things like that. So what if we had an integer, let's say integer y is equal to x. What on earth is going to happen here? Well, Let's look at this. We have a double is th x is 3.14, and we're going to assign 3.14 into this integer y. So let's just go ahead and print y to the screen and see what happens. So we're going to do that, and it's printing out 3. Now, let's talk about what's going on here. In C++, when you have an integer conversion into a double, it's just going to the only thing it's going to be able to do is store an integer in this value y, right? Or in this variable y. And it's not going to be able to store this 0.14 part. So what it does, what it, does it just cuts it out. Um, it didn't round down. It just completely just cut everything out. So, you know, to kind of explain that, well, it's not actually rounding. We call it truncating when it just cuts off the decimal part. So what if it was 3.99? you think that would probably round up to 4. But when we do this, it's still printing out 3. So... That's kind of problematic um, if for some reason you're working with doubles and you want to convert into integers um, and you're expecting it to round up, that's not going to work out too well for you. So if you want to do that, well, we could say, um, if it's always going to cut off the decimal point, what we can do is we can go here and plus 0 0.5, right? Now this is just not a variable or anything, this is just a number. Um, and now watch what happens here. When we build this and run it, we're going to get... A four, and so what it did was basically it took this 3.99 and added 0 0.5 to it. So here we'll just write down um, it went 3.99 plus 0 0.5, and that was actually the new number that we're storing in y is 4.49. There we go. And then what it does is it just cuts off this 4.9, and so it kind of gives you the illusion that it's rounding up when really it's not. So for example, if we had maybe 3.5 Four nine. If we're going to add 0.5 to this, well, when we build it and run, it's printing out 3. So it kind of probably rounds down because 
you know, 3.49 plus 5, 0.5 is 3.99, then it just cuts off the whole extra end. So that's just a little bit about truncating and how you can, you know, kind of make C++ round up or down um, and in your favor. And obviously if this was, say, maybe negative 3.49, all we would have to do is switch this. And then when we want to build this and run this, save, and we're going to get negative 3. It's rounding in the proper direction. So for negative numbers, you just switch this. You want to minus 0 0.5, and for positive, you want to add it, and that will be able to make you round numbers um, properly if you're doing a double to integer conversion. And the last thing I just want to say here is, well, what if we accidentally stored, or not accidentally, what if we just wanted to store, say, 3.49 in an integer variable type? Well, if we do that, and we just want to print out x to the screen and see what happens, let's go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so when you're in this program, look what it's doing. It's printing out 3. Well, that's because C++ is just truncating this automatically. It says, well, 3.49 technically, yeah, okay, that's a double. And now I'm storing this double, because it has a decimal place, um, in this integer x. And so I can't store a double in an integer, so I'm just going to cut off. I'm going to truncate this number. I'm going to cut off the decimal points. And that's why we're going to get 3.